Hey everyone, welcome back to the Prime 5, your 5 biggest Nintendo news story in the last 24 hours. We got more news on Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Oh, by the way, we now know when we're going to see the Super Mario movie. If you haven't seen that news, you're going to want to stay tuned. We have an update on a game that was announced back in 2019 for Nintendo Switch, but we've heard nothing about it since until today. Oh, and by the way, we have a brand new glitch in Breath of the Wild. A potentially a world's first seen right here on Nintendo Prime. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. And if you enjoy this video, enjoy this content, be sure to drop a like and hit subscribe. We are on our road to 80,000 subscribers. So every single like is appreciated. We also technically have some sort of 100K giveaway thing. It's going to probably be a while before we get to it. But hey, you know what? There's information on that down in the pinned comment. Our first story is a bit of a double whammy on Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope because the first off, the official support page for Ubisoft did an update on Twitter and they noted a correction to something they stated previously where they said, hey, you're going to need a Ubisoft Connect account to play Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. This is their replacement for Uplay, which sort of infers you would actually need an online connection to play this game or maybe they would kick you out. Well, their official support Twitter tweeted out that that is not actually the case. You will not need to log in. It could still be there as an optional thing with some bonus content, but it is not something they are presently focusing on. Now, beyond all that, they released a brand new trailer doing a rundown of all of the new features in this game in comparison to Kingdom Battle. And some of these features note Hero Sight, Steely Stare, new flying combat, brand new weapon types, unique combat perspectives, isolated combat fields, open world exploration, including optional enemies, dungeons, side quests, and puzzles. These are all things we've technically already seen, but now it's all thrown together in a single video. Really excited for this one. Does come out October 20th. I can't wait. You can go ahead and get a pre-order for this if you want at Best Buy down below if you live in the United States because it actually gives us a nice little kickback and helps support the channel. Remember, if you do pre-order the gold edition of the game, you actually get a free steelbook from Best Buy, so that's pretty cool. Next up, we finally have a real update on the new Super Mario Brothers movie. We now know when we're going to get our first glimpse at the movie through a teaser trailer that's going to be dropping at New York Comic Con, as announced by New York Comic Con, on October 6th. They also announced the date of release for the movie, which is going to be April 7th. Now, naturally, we don't know when this footage will appear online. Sometimes it appears in person at the Comic Con and then takes a little bit before it appears online. Could be the same day, could be published at the same time, so the live audience and the internet audience gets to enjoy it together. Either way, the teaser is going to come out. Chris Pratt noted that this really surprised him. Whatever that means, Chris Pratt plays Mario in the movie, so I mean, expected him to say anything but positive things about a movie he stars in would be pretty shocking. So, hey, at least he didn't say it's crap, because then I guess that would really be a problem. Anyways, I'm really excited. It's our first look at the Mario movie, and I can't wait. Next up, our lead story today is about Breath of the Wild. Look, there's been a lot of glitches discovered in Breath of the Wild over the years. One of many people's favorite glitches in the game is the infinite moon jump glitch. I'm not going to go into the details on how to attain this glitch, but it is required for what we are about to talk about today, and that is potentially a brand new, never before seen glitch in Breath of the Wild on Nintendo Switch. I'm being specific here because this glitch has been triggered through Simu and Yuzu, two Switch related emulators, one of them kind of more for Wii U, but still, we've been able to trigger it there, but a lot of people thought it was just a bug because people couldn't do it in the game. Turns out, this actually can be done in the game. What are we talking about? Hyrule is flooded again. The Wind Waker has come back. You are now swimming in a flooded Hyrule. What are we talking about? Well, essentially, you need to pull off the infinite moon jump glitch and then teleport to Divine Beast Va Ruta. Go to about the middle of the top end of the Divine Beast. Use your moon jump to get higher and higher and higher, and then slowly move on over towards the dam in that area. If you fall at a certain point on that dam, I don't know where the exact point is, but you are seeing it on footage you will end up falling into an invisible lake that appears to be covering all of Hyrule. There technically is a limit because of the way 
his zones load and you'll eventually get out of it and fall and no longer be swimming but it does take quite a bit before that happens this is a really really neat glitch a really neat swimming glitch i'm curious if you guys have seen this before i tried scouring the internet and the only references to it i saw were related to emulation not related to the switch Credit to T. Fowler who gave us all the footage on this and pulled off the glitch himself. And what's interesting is he actually did this for us live last night. And since then, I have been unable to find any evidence of this being done on a Nintendo Switch system. A non-hacked, no craziness happening Nintendo Switch. So... Hey, this is a really cool glitch. Maybe you guys could try it for yourself. Link to T. Fowler and all of his contacts and, and socials and all that. If you want to get a hold of him and maybe get even more details on how to exactly pull off this glitch. Next up, it appears a full-time employee at Creatures Inc. made an oopsie when updating their profile on LinkedIn. It turns out through a profile update on LinkedIn that we now know that Detective Pikachu 2, the video game that was announced back in 2019 as going into production, is near completion completion and almost ready to release. On his profile, he notes that he's working on a currently unannounced game and a game that is almost ready to release, Detective Pikachu 2. So yeah, that's how we kind of found out about this. Now, almost ready to release probably doesn't mean it's releasing this year, but I would expect it in the first half of 2023. Maybe they're going to rely on it to be some sort of March release since there's nothing slated for March yet. I don't know, but hey, I want to see Detective Pikachu 2 the movie more than the game. But maybe we can get both. Maybe Detective Pikachu 2 coming out in video game form will help convince somebody in the movie sphere to finally greenlight Detective Pikachu 2 for real. Next up, we have new information coming out of Japan on Fire Emblem Engage, in particular to the clans. What are we talking about? Well, they dropped a new Japanese trailer, and here are the information that we can glean from this trailer according to a translation by Go Nintendo. It says, Clan is Frem's twin brother, and the two of them were by Alir's side when they woke up. Clan is a calm and collected person who admires priests and takes care of Alir. Clan's base class is a mage, and he can use spellbooks to cast spells. Clan specializes in attacking enemies from a distance, as well as hitting heavily armored units. Clan, who is voice acted by Kui Amaski in Japan, is the 33rd Dragon Guardian, and are tasked with protecting the Divine Dragon in the Sacred Land of Lithos. Clan protects Alir alongside Vandir, who we've previously profiled. So yeah, that's really, really cool. Really great information. And honestly, that does it for today's Prime 5. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you really enjoyed today's news. I know that I did, and I'm really looking forward to October. We got a lot of big games of Bayonetta 3 and Sparks of Hope and Nier Automata, Persona 5. Woo! It's a mouthful right there before we even get into Sony's offerings like God of War Ragnarok. It's going to be a big month, folks, and I hope to be playing games with you then. Oh, by the way, Splatfest this weekend. Nice little reminder for those that want to know that what team I'm going to be. I'm on team fun because I just like to have fun, baby. Catch you guys in the next video. Like my mother.